17 days into the largest manhunt in the history of Kern County, and tonight the biggest break in the case. Good evening, I'm Tim Callahan. And I'm Jackie Parks. The sheriff's office has been able to identify the man suspected of kidnapping, murder, and the shooting of two sheriff's deputies as Benjamin Peter Ashley. And 23 ABC's Stephen Hicks is live tonight in Weldon with the very latest. Stephen? Well, the day after day, in speaking with the sheriff's department, we were told that they were closer to identifying the suspect as investigators combed this area and found evidence. But day after day, we received very few details on how that process was going. Tonight, we finally have a name and a face. It was discovered today that we were able to identify our suspect. After two weeks of searching the vast Kelso Valley wilderness, investigators have finally been able to identify their suspect as Benjamin Peter Ashley. The 34 year old has an extensive criminal history, having been arrested in LA, Merced, and Yosemite. His most recent picture was taken after he was arrested in Bear Valley Springs on a warrant out of Glendale. We believe that he's still within our perimeter. But there is a possibility with all the movement and that we that uh, the deputies in the field have seen that at some point he could get out of our perimeter. After two weeks of searching with very little to show for it, the sheriff's office has been pressured to think about an exit strategy with the rising costs associated with the search. At this point, uh, that's not my focus. Uh, it may be really uh, in two or three weeks or whenever we have this guy in custody, but right now my job is, is uh, public safety. And in the surrounding Weldon and Lake Isabella area, residents are happy to hear that. I don't want a freaking psycho running around my area. Our area, you know, and with our kids and families. I think some of them are scared. Uh, from what I've seen, most of the people that never locked their doors are now locking their doors. Today's announcement does ease those fears somewhat and shows that the police are making progress. A name is one step closer to catching the guy. The more information we have about him, the more chances we have to grab him. I feel like there's now that everybody knows what he looks like, they'll be more on the lookout because everybody from here to, you know, everywhere knows about it. So they'll find him easier because everyone knows his face. And now that the name and the face have been released, the Sheriff's Department is asking for the public's help in trying to find this individual. They've set up a special tip line that you can call if you have any information. That's at 661-392-4360.